Why, hello there. I am with First Baptist Church, Indian Land. And I have a message of hope to everyone out there in America. And it's this hope right here. This Bible was passed from my grandpappy all the way down to me. And in this book, there is hope. Hope that we can change the world. But it all, it all starts with reading the book and finding your purpose in the church. What are you doing for the church? Are you working for the church? Have you decided to come down to the church and serve? Are you serving? Because if you're not serving, you're not a warrior for Christ. Do you know what it is to be a warrior for Christ? It's not being a coward when you have to stand up for your Lord Jesus Christ. And let me just say this. Let me just say this. I believe in every single one of you. And that's why you're here at this center. We're going to be training you in spiritual warfare. And real warfare. Because we believe that terrorists are coming to America. Terrorists have infiltrated America. And they're brainwashing America. Obama is a terrorist. And McCain was going to be the one bringing the apocalypse. But he didn't. Why? Why did we work so hard making those McCain buttons when it didn't do any good? And now we, here we are. Here we got Obama in office. The end times are here. 2012. Jesus is coming back. We all know it's true. You know Jesus is coming back. You know? My granny. Oh, I love my granny. My granny knows that Paul is coming back 2012. She's already, she's already booked herself rooms in uh, Europe. She says she's going out to Italy to try some chocolate. I just laughed at her. Because I love, I love Granny. And if you love Granny too, you will join my spiritual warfare camp. And that's why I'm on here, YouTube. YouTube is an in interweb. It, it's all new and we're getting on to it. And uh, we're taking donations. You can be a gold member at our church. If you send us a thousand dollars, you also get a three-night stay at a, our little hotel that we run here in Indy Land, North Carolina. Uh, and yeah, come out to Indy Land because we're building God back in the Bible Belt. Because you know, I know there's a lot of unfaith in this day, but I know that God can come back. In America. And all it has to do is all you have to do is send your child to my warfare camps, spiritual warfare, so they can learn about spiritual warfare. I need you to buy my products that I make, because I make them for Lord Jesus Christ Himself. I mean, it says here right in this great book, you know, that whatever you do with your hands, do it to the Lord, so and so. I cannot quote the verse specifically. I did not feel like I had the need to look up that verse, but I was quoted and just believe me on this quote because, uh, you know, that's what you do. You believe the pastor, right? Right? You believe me, right? You believe that I'm going to lead you in the right way, right? Right? I want to make you straight. I want to make you straight. Back to my point. The, the third step. The third step is to enlist in our growing army. We are growing an army for the Lord, and when apocalypse comes, we will be ready and we will be taken up in arms of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Let me just leave a prayer with you. Dear God, dear God. Let's just pray that 
all the Democrats will be wiped off this planet and killed. And that all the terrorists will be killed by our men serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. And we will get them democracy and the Bible. And pray for our soldiers that they will know that God loves them. And that's why they're dying out there for God's love, not for our love. And that's why, that's what's going to happen in this great war. When apocalypse comes, we're going to be fighting the devil. Are you on the devil's team? Now tell me, are you on the devil's team? All you need to do is send me a thousand dollars. And you'll be saved from apocalypse. Because we'll have these hotels set for you. And I'm sorry I've taken up a lot of your time. But I get really passionate about when I'm speaking about Jesus. Because I love Jesus. And I hope you love Jesus. I just want you to know you can send your check or credit cards to me. On my website, www.firstbaptistchurchindianland.com. That's my website. That's my church. Now you come out to Indianland and buy your apartment so that you can be accepted into the Lord's arm in 2012. Thank you and good night. I don't know how do you turn this dang old website off? This is YouTube. Dang it.